Mm. Cigarettes. Welcome back to the Cornish garage. Oh, if you didn't know, I smoke. It's one of my only vices. I barely drink, but I smoke, and it's good fun. Right, so back in the garage. Not been in here for a while with you guys, anyway. Um, as you can see, the FJ's missing. We sold it. We sold it yesterday. So, so it released a bit of cash because I'm not working at the moment. It was a huge nightmare. So I thought, as the bike's off the road, well, it's not off the road, it's still tax insured and MIT, it's just, you know, I, I can't afford to run it properly, so it's staying in the garage for now. Um, I thought I'd clean the calipers, which is something I've been done for a while. Um, been riding it in a bit of winter. So I thought, why not give it a good old clean and uh, see how it goes. Because I don't think they're that bad, because I did do them at the beginning of summer. But, yeah, so if you have paddock stands, this is a neat little trick. I can't put bobbins on this bike because Honda, but I can put these rails into the thing. Which is great because it makes putting our axle stands a lot easier for me. Bosh, easy as that. Uh, I always start at the front because it's probably the most work. Well, oh, my cigarette's gone out. So basically my plan is just to show you how I do this. I have got another camera there as well. There you go. That one's knackered, which is funny. Um, it got wet and it didn't like it. Oh, yeah. mm. Thanks work kids, it's not cool. I told you it's fucked. This is just one of those cameras that just decides that life is too hard. So, CVR calipers are only held on with two bolts, which is fun. But I do need to take the pads out as well. So it's the two bolts there as well. I, I can't, I can't get any idea how much you can see, but it's those two bolts there and these two bolts here. I'm gonna take the the arm bolts out first. Um, yeah, soapy water and hot water. That's what I use. If I have the right tools, it's easier. Because I actually look after this bike, I'm like the bandit. Everything's relatively simple. So I take I take the things out so I can get around the pistons better. Not everyone does, but it's the way I was taught to do it. So that's the way I do it. We've seen that on the BMW ones as well. Yeah, they're not bad. They're not good, but they're not bad. I don't damage the threads too much. There we go. Uh, that locks the pads in. That holds the pads in. Yeah, so this is all I do. Please release me. Let me go. Come on. Worst bit. Oh, I'm, I'm ringing another agency. <coughs> Need my cigarette go out. Right, where was I? Pads out, caliper off. Um, now it's just a case of scrubbing with nylon, not with anything harder. Because you'll fuck everything up. I don't know how well you can see that, but they're not too bad actually, they're not too bad. But they could definitely do with a clean. Yes. I'm a slow smoker as well. I enjoy my cigarettes. <coughs> so a couple of pumps. They're all moving together, which is a bonus. Um, and while you're here, you can check your pads as well. I'm just off the wear limits. So I'm going to need new front pads soon, because I put these in nearly a year ago. I've nearly had this bike a year, so. They've been in nearly a year. Ugh. Yeah, it's just a big bucket of hot soapy water. That's all you need. And I'm just get them wet. And because it's brake dust, mostly, it just flies off. It's great. Yeah, it's popping out on the front on the leading too. 
that also gives you a chance to get round here as well, stuff you don't tend to clean. Um, brake cleaner does make this easier, a lot easier actually, but it's also another expense. Hot washing fluid doesn't really cost you anything. Ain't gonna get much better. Oh, I'm fighting with this stuff, I can just grab one of these. Tell me, no way. This bucket's just cold water. This will just wash off whatever's left on there. there we go. Easy as that. That's them clean, dry. Well, they're not dry, but they're clean. Um, yeah. Then it's just rinse and repeat, I'm afraid. Um, clean your anti squeals as well. Again, just soapy water. Should do it, but you can use this brush instead. drop in. Nothing difficult about fire blades or missing calipers. brute force, ignorance and uh, perseverance I hope you win the day I'm sure these aren't that high to be honest I'm sure they're only um, maybe 20 meters, maybe 30 I know they're not high right, so that's how you do the front calipers on these, should we do the back one so you can see how it's done, I can do that one on my own that's some light of these use the uh, BMW I think for that of course it's a different size, but it's not for the grub screw. So these actually have, yeah, these have a grub screw and then there's another pin and I damaged this grub screw when I first changed the pads on these. In fact, I'm almost doing another set of pads on the back because I use my back brake more than I use my front. Because I'm stupid like that. I'll take the grub off while we've got it on the bike just to make life a little bit easier. Sitting there for now. Yeah, I constantly seem to be blowing rear bulbs on this, so I opted to put some LED ones in. Grub. Uh, that one's an Allen key as well. Ugh. No locking pin on that. I might have to do Hannah's bike as well, yeah. Which will be fun. That's in really good condition because I cleaned that quite recently. Oops. Slipped. breaks the caliper enough, does it? No, it can't be if it's only a single. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. I think this is just going to be mostly views of the floor. I did quickly check the alignment. I could do with a quick clean as well. Basically new because I cleaned it the other week. Well, the other month. Oh, that's somewhere to sit it. Lovely. <sighs> Old man noises. But yeah, there's nothing, nothing challenging, nothing difficult. It's just take the time, put over the toothbrush, and nice and clean. Nice and free as well. Lovely. Uh, nearly dead. But not quite. Where's the other one gone? There should be two, obviously. Um, I don't land. I don't land in here, does it? No. It's 
somewhere. It will appear in a minute. And I want to rebuild it. Uh, Paddy, there you are. Hello, Paddy. Yeah, fine. Again, I I got to center pads. Same as steel hardens and all that stuff. Cause I prefer the um brake feel. They do tend to wear through your discs a little bit quicker, and they can make more noise. But it's a personal preference, though, isn't it? I prefer having a strong brake. I have to replace them a bit more often over having no brakes. And the OEM ones, most of the time, don't really break that well. Oh, fighting hydraulic pressure by hand as well, like a man. That'll do. Oh, yeah, it also means you've got somewhere to put your brakes. You see that? There you go, somewhere to put your brakes. I don't know if you can see any of this or not. Um, but I'm not reshooting it, so if it's shit stuff. Oh, jeez. I'm not going to cut my finger anymore. Because <laughs> it hurts. It hurts too much. Giant hinge, so it's only a hardened steel. Um, do for as well. There we go. Lovely, lovely. Put that together, because otherwise, if I talk it now, I'm just going to end up breaking something, which I don't really want to do. And Hannah will shout at me saying, Oh, you broke something, did you? Yeah, that's gonna cost you. Mm. You should make that noise. The other noise mechanics make, or that disappointed wife noise. I'm not angry, I'm just very disappointed. No, oh, it's worse. It's much, so much worse. And you're not angry, but you're just very disappointed. Alright, let's put. A retaining bolt on first. Oh, copper. Because stainless into alley will weld eventually. And we don't want that, children, do we? Cover that up. Lovely. Oh, hang the exhaust on the camera. Oh. I hear the kid neighbour. Bugger. That's so much work on that bike, it's ridiculous. Nip. Now, unfortunately, because that's been changed to an Allen bolt, the torque settings would have changed, so I can't tell you what they are. And to be honest, if you're doing your own brake work, I expect you to have a Haynes anyway and sort of go, oh, okay. If you've got a Haynes manual, Definitely buy one, they're fucking great. Tell you all the things that you'll ever need to know and not need to know. You'll have to take your gearbox apart and shit like that. Mind you, you might need to know that on these bikes, these do have a habit of ruining gearboxes apparently. Not that it's happened to mine yet, but they do have a habit of chilling gearboxes apparently. Right. A little talky there and this one again, that's alley, this is stainless. Even though there should already be some copper slick on the threads from the last one. I'll uh, put some more in just to be sure. To be sure, to be sure. As you say. Um, that's how you do them. Nice and simple, you clean them, put them back on. And you torque them up. And to torque them up, you grab your hands like this. You look through it. Calipers, fluid change, fluid levels, hoses, levers. 
My cylinders, I have one thing I need to do on this. 7-1, I think that's the page I'll need. There we are. Millimeters, no millimeters. This won't break. Have three, three valves, front discs, banjos, front axle clamp bolts, front brake caliper body joining bolts, front brake caliper mounting body bolts. Mounting bolts is probably then 30 millimeters. How good am I? So we get your. 16 pound torque wrench from Aldi. I hope you know how to take the torque off because it is a spring one at the end of the day. Does this even do 30? It does. Somewhere. 30, because for some reason it's done in 12s. And then I'll need that one. That's half drive to 3 8. And then I will need. The socket that I took off, which I put down somewhere. Hello, you saucy bugger. And then you just go. For some reason, it's on loosen. There we are. 30 newton meters. 30 newton meters. Tall. That feels about right, though. Tall this up to about the same. It's already talked to the same. Lovely. And these I'm not going to talk because they're hand tight, basically. That's all it is. Piece of piss. Piece of piss. Oh, when you're finished. Remember to put your pads back out. Otherwise, your discs won't work. And when you go up to ride your bike, you'll die. Same with your front. Just give it a quick little pump. There we go. Yeah, all good. Alright, well, thank you very much for watching. Um, let me know if it helped you or not. Good to know. Um, if you want any more like little garage tips that you may or may not require, just you know, send me a message and I'll see if I can come up with something. Yeah, right, see you in a bit.